Friday night as Wayne has a daughter who's getting married tomorrow. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it here. As the Bears this evening will take on Northeast Goose Lake. The Rebels come into tonight's game with a no record of 0-3, 1-4 overall. And the Bears are 2-1 in the district, 3-2 overall. Last year, the Bears suffered a defeat at Goose Lake. Northeast winning the ball game 32-28. To get things started this evening, Northeast won the toss and will get the ball first. Looking at the standings in the district, Winfield Mount Union leads things with a 3-0 record. They're 5-0 overall. And then there's a log jam for second with Wapolo, Albernet, West Branch, and Regina also at 2-1. Bellevue comes up next 1-2, and, and then Midland and Northeast are both 0-3 in the district. So hopefully we'll have a great display by the Bears this Friday evening, and we look forward to another West Branch victory. And here we go. Chris Robertson set to kick off for the Bears to start this evening's game between Northeast Goose Lake Rebels and the West Branch Bears. A beautiful evening here at Allfoot Street Field. And there's the kick by Robertson. A deep kick that'll be picked up at the one yard line. Brought down on the play by Eric Cobbler. First and 10 for Northeast, just inside their own 20 yard line. Here's a give up the middle. Uh-oh, he could go. That's uh, number 20, Ryan Varner. Big gain on the play, brought down at about the 16-yard line. Brought down by Randy Seidel. Four-yard pickup on that play. First and 10 northeast. Here's the fullback off the left side. Looks like that'll be a gain of approximately five yards. Four here for northeast. That's Varner once again on the carry. He's brought down in the backfield. First man to meet him was Zach Zosell. Seven here for Northeast. They give to Varner once again, trying to break the tackle, but he's held on to, and the tackle made by Skyler Maxson. Northeast gonna go for it here. He gives to the big fullback, number 40. That is Kettleson, and it looks like he may have the first down. Five for the Rebels. And the give up the middle. Once again to Kettleson. He's brought down by a host of Blairs. That'll bring up second down and about three. Drive here for Northeast. They were ranked last in the district in offense. The Bears first in defense. And there's the touchdown for Varner. On to try the extra point for the Rebels. And the kick is up. And it's good, right down the middle. 9.06 left in the first quarter. It's Northeast seven, West Branch nothing. And Northeast set to kick off. Jay Schultz back deep to receive, along with Tim Hamer. Northeast leading at seven nothing on an impressive drive to start the ball game. And you had to be concerned coming in. The Bears Hopefully not overlooking this team as there was an interesting kick. We've got flags all over the field as the ball goes out of bounds. To try it again, this time five yards back at the 35 yard line. Ball angled towards the far side of the field. I don't know if this is an onside kick attempt or what we have coming here. And this will be Jay Schultz on the return. He slips down just over the 45 yard line, brings it up to the 48 where the Bears will take over first and 10. Here we go, first and 10 for the Bears. Mike Coleman, the quarterback. Here's the snap back to Coleman and the pitch to the outside. Cody Klein carries. Looks like he picks up about seven on the play. It's here. Second down and four for West Branch on the six yard gain by Klein. Here's Coleman rolling right, looking downfield. Can't find a receiver. Now he's scrambling back to the left. Gets a good block there. Coleman, he's over the 40, down to the 30. Another great block to the 20, 10, five. 
touchdown Bears. You gotta put it on the board. Six more points for Mike Coleman. And the Bears will try the extra point. No holder on the field. Here comes Mike Coleman back out onto the field after the long run. He'll hold for the kick attempt by Zach Thomas. Kick is up and it's blocked by Goose Lake. So with 8.18 left, it's Northeast Goose Lake 7, the West Branch Bears 6. Robertson set to kick off for West Branch from his own 40. Back for Northeast is Derek Schroeder. And this will be Schroeder. He takes it from about his own nine. And he's met immediately by a host of Bears. First one to get there was number 66, Jeff Tyler. At their own 24. Hand off right up the middle. That'll be number 40, Brett Kettleson. Gain brings up second down one for Northeast. And here's Varner around the left side, or the right side, excuse me, met right away. Brought down by Chris Robertson on the play. One big play upcoming. There's the give to the fullback up the middle. He's met right at the line of scrimmage. This will be close. Just enough for the first down. So it's first and 10 northeast. Here's Ryan Varner around the left side. Brought down by two bears after a gain of about two yards on the play. Tyler on that last tackle. Here's the attempted pass and he's brought down in the backfield. The sack on the play by Chris Robertson for the big loss. Northeast at their own 27 yard line after the sack by Robertson. Fake reverse and the ball comes loose. Looks like Northeast falls on it. That'll bring up fourth down and long. Back deep to receive the punt. Ryan Varner will do the punting. And here's the kick away. Schultz will take it at his own 41 yard line. He's up to midfield. And he'll be brought down at about the Northeast 48 yard line where the Bears will take over first and 10. Bears bring it out first and 10 at the Northeast 49 yard line. Mike Coleman under center. And they'll fake the give up underneath and the pitch out to Gates and he's met right at the line of scrimmage. No loss of one yard on that play. Second down and 11 for the Bears. Single setback. And here's Coleman back to throw. Looking downfield, he's got plenty of time. He's gonna take off and he gets back to just about the line of scrimmage. Royal being third down. 11 for West Branch here at midfield. Coleman dropping back. Shovel pass underneath the gates and he's met after a gain of just a little over one. It'll be fourth down. Fourth down and 10 for West Branch. Ball just inside the 40, inside the 50 at the 49. West Branch will punt. And the kick is away, angled towards the far side of the field, bounces at about the 21 and rolls down just inside the five yard line where West Branch will down it. So Northeast pinned back against their goal line. Pins Northeast deep in their own territory. The fullback. Number 40, Kettleson once again, gains six. Second down four. And once again, Kettleson, the ball carrier up the middle. The ball came loose, but he was rolled down. One and one here for Northeast. And once again, number 40, the ball carrier, he'll get the first down easily. Northeast at their own 19 yard line. Here's the give up the middle. Kettleson once again the ball carrier gains about three. Seven for Northeast. Here's the give to Varner over the right side brought down by a host of Bears. In on that last stop brings up third down and four at the 26. Give up the middle to Kettleson. He's met right there at the line of scrimmage. A good stop there, fourth down and two at the 28. Varner on to punt. Jay Schultz will return it.
From about the 36, he's met at the 41 and gets up to about the 42 yard line where the Bears take over first and 10. 10 for West Branch at the 42 yard line. <laughs> Man in motion, and the pitch to the motion man. This would be Tim Hamer on the carry for a gain of about nine yards. Pick up of eight on that last play, second down and two as we near the end of the first quarter here. Coleman under center, and he just gets the playoff with one second on the clock. Looking deep down over the middle, he's got a man wide open. That is Mike Osmondson, and that'll be a first down, and that'll end the first quarter of play as the Bears are down to the 25-yard line. First and 10, West Branch at the 25 here as we start the second quarter. Northeast leading 7-6. Hamer, the man in motion. Fake up the middle, and the ball comes loose. Who's got the ball? It looks like Northeast may have recovered the fumble, and they have. The second quarter, if you're a West Branch fan, as the Bears fumble away a great opportunity. Here's Varner, the ball carrier, running backwards. He's got room, and he's met in the backfield. Met by Jay Schultz. That'll be a big loss on the play. And a great play by Schultz. Here's the reverse, inside reverse. That time, Derek Schroeder carried. Third and nine for Northeast. And the Goose Lake will look to throw. Quarterback is pressured on the play, incomplete. Andy Teasdale forced him to release it soon and he's not getting up. Maxine stars after that one on the great hit by Teasdale. Brings up fourth down and nine, Varner on to punt. Schultz and Hamer back deep. And they're gonna kick it away from him out of bounds here. Be interested to see where they spot this one. Better down at the 44 where West Branch will take over first and 10. West Branch at the Northeast 44. Be nice for a big play here for West Branch. Hamer the man in motion. Here's the pitch outside. Gates can't hang on to it and he won't get it back. Recovered by Northeast. Coming in that the Bears might be overlooking this Northeast team playing Winfield next week. Here's Kettleson up the middle. He'll get about four on that play. Get a four on the play, second down and six. And the ball's loose once again. And we'll see who has it. It looks like West Branch has got it. Ball recovered by Chris Robertson and West Branch will take over first and 10 at their own 49. First and 10. Bears looking to buckle down and hang on to the football here. And here's the reverse to Hamer. He gives it back. Plenty of running room. This is Randy Seidel down to the 20, 15. He steps out of bounds at about the 12 yard line. Time by the Bears on the razzle dazzle triple reverse. As Seidel makes a nice gain. First and 10 West Branch. Hamer in motion. The give is to Gates up the middle. He breaks a tackle. He will score. Touchdown, Bears. He'll attempt the two-point conversion after missing the kick earlier in the ball game after the first touchdown. Coleman around the left side's got a man wide open, and it's dropped. So with 9.22 left in the second quarter, it's West Branch 12, Northeast Goose Lake 7. Kickoff for the Bears, leading 12-7 here in the second quarter. And here's the boot. Low line drive up the middle. Uh, up man will take it for Goose Lake. That'll be number 21, Blake Witt, brought down by number 50. <sighs> brought down on the play by number 83, Zach Zozo. And here's Goose Lake up the middle. Kettleson carries for about four. Four on the play, second down six. And the give is Varner, and he's got it for the first down. 
grind it out here as their first string quarterback was knocked out in the last series. Kettleson carries once again for about nine yards. Second down one gives to Varner up the middle and he'll get the first down easily on a gain of five. At the West Branch 46. Teasdale in the backfield tries to break things up but they got the ball to Varner. He'll gain one on the play. And nine from the 45 yard line. Kettleson the carry up the middle. He'll get a couple yards. Ball at the 42. Fake the inside, or gives the inside reverse. No gain, loss of three on the play. It's gonna be fourth down. Stop on that inside reverse. Varner on to punt once again with Schultz and Hammer deep. And there's the kick by Varner. This will be Hamer as he bobbles the ball. He picks it up at his own 14. He's got a little bit of running room and he'll get the ball just over the 20 yard line. Left in the first half, West Branch leading 12-7 as the Bears take over at about their own 24 yard line. First and 10. Hamer the man in motion. Give up the middle and a nice carry be close to the first down. That inch is short after the mid. Coleman kind of bobbled the snap. Here's the pitch outside. Cody Klein on the carry. He could go. As he stiff arms, he's brought down inside the 20 yard line. Great run there by Cody Klein. He's lined up in the backfield along with Howie Gates. And this will be Gates up the middle. He'll take it down to about the 11 yard line. Back and down and four for West Branch. Ball at the 11 yard line. Hamer the man in motion once again. This will be Gates up the middle. Down to the one, into the end zone. Touchdown Bears. Two once again. Klein and Gates in the backfield. This will be a pitch outside to Klein and he's brought down at the five. The attempt will be no good. 448 left. West Branch 18, Northeast Goose Lake seven. And the Bears are set to kick off. Chris Robertson set to kick. And here's the boot. Good kick. Drives them back to their own three yard line. What's well, running room? <laughs> Tackle on the kickoff. First to 10, Goose Lake, their own 24. Give up the middle. Two yard gain, second down and eight. Here's a fake to Varner. Quarterback rolling, running for his life, throws it. Short, incomplete, fresh nine for the Rebels. Give up the middle, this will be Varner. Won't even be close to the first down. Ryan Varner on to kick once again. He may be the most tired player on the field as much as he's run the ball and now he's had to punt quite a few times. Here's the kick away, it's going out of bounds as they're kicking away from their West Branch return game. We'll see where it's spotted, right at the 50 yard line where West Branch will take over first and 10. And for the Bears at the 50, leading 18 to seven with 319 left in the first half. Here's Coleman under center and the snap drops back to pass. He's gonna take off up the middle, lots of running room. He's got the first down just over the 40 yard line, a 10 yard gain by Mike Coleman. First and 10 Bears, ball just inside the 40 yard line at the 39. Single setback, that's Klein. Coleman back to pass. Plenty of time, wings it out, intended for Gates, incomplete. Be second down and 10 for West Branch. Klein the single setback. Coleman back to throw. Plenty of time, lets it go. Complete to Jay Schultz. 
and he'll have another first down as the Bears are down to about the 11 yard line, first and 10. 10 for West Branch at the 11. Gates inclined to setbacks, Hamer in motion. This will be Howie Gates. He's met in the backfield and wrapped up and we do have a flag on the play. It was the injured player for Goose Lake and we had an illegal shift on West Branch, so that's a five yard penalty. It'll be first and 15 at the 16 yard line. Hamer, the man in motion. Coleman drops back, plenty of time. Now he's rushed a little bit. Under throws his intended receiver, incomplete, intended for Cody Klein. It'll be second and 15. 15, 222 left here in the first half. Give up the middle to Cody Klein. A flag is down on the play, and Klein's in the end zone, but hold on just a minute. Five yard illegal procedure penalty. West Branch will have it second and 21 from right around the 22 yard line. Here's Coleman, drops back. Inside shovel pass to Howie Gates. Gates trying to get out of bounds and he will at about the 16 yard line. The ball resty on the 17 yard line. <laughs> Hamer in motion. Coleman with the pitch out to Cody Klein. Klein will meet two players and bulls his way inside the 10 to about the eight. After the timeout, it's gonna bring up fourth down. The Bears are lining up in field goal formation. On to try the field goal will be Zach Thomas with Coleman on to hold. This will be approximately a 26 yard attempt. Hold is down, kick is up, and hits good. Zach Thomas, a 26-yard field goal. That'll make the score West Branch 21, Goose Lake 7. West Branch 153 left in the first half after the Thomas 26-yard field goal. Robertson will kick off. And here's the kick. High kick to this side of the field. Blake Witt will return it, and he gets it up to about the 30-yard line where he's tripped up by a blade of grass. Tackle to Brian Watts, not the blade of grass. And here's the run up the middle. Wasn't with the tackle on that last play. Second down seven as Goose Lake seems content to run the clock out here. Confusion in the backfield. And West Branch will look to use a timeout here. Nine at the 32 for Northeast. 115 left in the first half. Here's, looks like Varner once again, he's knocked out of bounds. That'll stop the clock. Up by Northeast, it's third and 21 with a minute nine left. Here's the give to Varner once again and the Bears are gonna stop him and use a timeout with a minute four left. Varner once again will punt. Just one man back for the Bears. That appears to be Jay Schultz. And here's the punt by Varner. They kick it away from him. And it looks like it'll be downed at about the 43 yard line. Bears at their own 44 after the Northeast timeout. Hammer comes in motion. Coleman bobbles the snap, balls on the field, and the Bears will fall on it. About four on the play. We'll try the same play over again. Coleman drops back, wings it out to Gates. He's got some running room. Cuts it back here to the near side, and his knee does go down. Down at the 42-yard line, third and 12. Third down and 12. Coleman drops back, looking to the far side of the field. He's got a man, he overshoots Schultz. It'll be fourth down. No one to punt for the Bears. Back deep for Northeast, Derek Schroeder. Good pressure on the play. O'Neill gets away in a nice punt, and Schroeder calls for the fair catch at the 27. The 28, 15 seconds left here in the first half. Northeast will just take a knee and run out the clock to end this first half. 
So we're at halftime now with West Branch leading Northeast 21 to seven. Mike Coleman scored the first touchdown, a 47 yard touchdown run, point no good. Then a 12 yard touchdown run by Gates. Pass was no good on the two point try and an 11 yard TD run by Gates. Runs again, the run was no good. And then a 26 yard field goal by Zach Thomas. Brings us to West Branch 21, Northeast seven. To start the second half, Hammer and Schultz back deep, but I doubt that they'll see this kickoff. It looks like they're setting up for another one of the angle kicks. Just a little pop up. And Northeast has caught it, but it's short of the 50, so the ball didn't go more than 10 yards, so the Bears will take it from the Northeast 48. Kicking tee. As we get underway and get the kicking tee off the field, Coleman under center. Single setback, and Coleman will keep it up the middle. He'll get about four yards on the play. On that play for Coleman, second down six. Gates and Klein in the backfield. And the give right up the middle is gonna be Cody Klein. He'll get a couple yards. F5 coming up here. Ball located at the 44-yard line. Here's Coleman dropping back with the pitch. This is Cody Klein. He's got enough for the first down and a little bit more. Takes it down to the 35-yard line. That'll be good for a Bears first down. Move once again, first and 10. Man in motion. That's Brian Watts that was the motion man. And here's the pitch to Klein. Gets around the outside and is knocked out of bounds at about the 14 yard line. That'll be good for another West Branch first down. Northeast coach is screaming for holding, but there was no holding on that play. Just a good solid run by the Bears. Single setback now. That is Klein and he'll take it up the middle. Not a whole lot there. Maybe one yard. Down in nine. Ball at the 13. Here's Coleman with the pitch. Oh, he's hit just as he went to release it, and he thankfully falls back on the ball. Brent Lurden, long hair. Single setback will be Cody Klein. Three receivers out to the far side of the field. Coleman drops back, looks to this side, complete. Incomplete, the ball does come loose. Pass was intended for Randy Seidel. That'll bring up fourth down and 14. Fourth and 14, ball located on the 19 yard line. West Branch will go for it here. Just under nine minutes left in the third quarter. Hamer, the man in motion. Coleman rolls to the right. He's got a man in the back of the end zone, incomplete. And the ball will be turned over on downs. 10 ball on their own 19 for the Rebels. Quick give up the middle, nothing there. Sitting on that last stop after a gain of a couple. Kettleson once again up the middle. Or O'Neill and Maxson on that last stop. Fake to the inside, and the Bears stuff that play. Once again on to punt. He came into the ball game with a 32.6 yard average. Schultz and Hamer deep. This one will be returnable. Hamer takes it at his own 41. Gets it up to about the 47 and is brought down. Where the Bears will take over first and 10. First and 10 West Branch at the 41. Single setback once again. And that will be Cody Klein up the middle. Ball comes loose. He falls back on it. The Bears have got to eliminate the mistakes. I'm not sure if the ball is just a little bit damp or what's going on down there, but we can't be having that, especially next week when the Bears face Winfield Mount Union. Coleman back to pass, looks over the middle, overthrown. Pass intended for Mike Osmondson. Third down and six, big play coming up. Ball just over the midfield stripe. 
Gates and Klein in the backfield. Hamer in motion to the far side. Fake to give to Gates. Coleman rolls. He's got a receiver wide open. That's Cody Klein. That'll be good for a West Branch first down, just over the 30-yard line, down to about the 28 for the Bears. Just about six minutes left here, third quarter. 21-7, West Branch leading. Here's the give to Howie Gates up the middle. And he'll carry a bunch of Northeast tacklers. Looks like he gets about seven yards. Second down for West Branch. Ball down at the 22. We'll call it second down and four. And the lineman flinched over on the far side. That'll cost the Bears five yards. One and nine. For West Branch. Coleman gives the ball to Cody Klein. He'll try and up the middle, get a couple. Third down and six for West Branch. Single setback will be Matt O'Neill. Coleman drops back, he's got a receiver wide open. That's Howie Gates. That'll be good for a West Branch first down. First and 10 West Branch, ball sitting at the 13 yard line. O'Neill and Gates in the backfield. This will be O'Neill up the middle. Second down and four, ball on the seven and a great evening for high school football. Single setback. Coleman gonna keep up the middle. He'll be close to the first down marker. Third down, less than a yard. Ball sits on the four yard line. Give it to O'Neill. He spins away and he's in for the West Branch touchdown. And West Branch will try for the point after. Zach Thomas will try to kick it here. So we have a slight delay with the football. Here we go, Coleman to hold, Thomas to try the kick. A Little bit of a high snap, good hold, kick is up, and it's good. So with 2.46 left in the third quarter, the score, West Branch 28, Northeast 7. Robertson set to kick off for West Branch. Once again, a reminder, the Bears travel to Winfield next week. No fresh soft game, just a varsity game at 7.30. Here's the short kick, taken by the up man. He's got a little bit of running room and gets it out to about the 37 yard line where it'll be first and 10 Rebels. First and 10 Northeast. Varner up the middle. And he's tripped up by Randy Seidel. Zach Zazel also was on that stop. Second down and five. Up the middle, once again is Kettleson. On that last stop, third down and three. Ball at the 45. Varner around the right side. He's gonna pick up the first down. And a little bit more, brought down by O'Neill and run out of bounds. And for the Rebels, ball at the West Branch, 49. And we have a stoppage in play. And first and 10 as the Bears had a little bit of an equipment problem. Kettleson up the middle. Breaks a couple tackles. And Robertson in on the stop. Maxson in also in on that stop. Second down and five. Kettleson once again carries. He'll be close to the first down marker. It looks like he'll be just a little bit short. Uh, looks like the quarter's gonna come to an end. No, they do get the play off. Kettleson with the carry once again. He'll have a first down as that'll end the third quarter. With the score, West Branch 28, Northeast seven. Quarter first and 10 Northeast at the West Branch 36. Here's Kettleson up the middle once again. And he's brought down by Andy Teasdale. That play second and 10 from the 36 is Northeast tries to run away from Teasdale. Here's Varner, slips down at about the 35, gain of a couple. 
Campbell will get credit with the last tackle. Third down and nine at the 35. We've got motion, no flags, however, as here's Varner on the carry. He'll gain only a couple of yards. And Vincent made that last stop of Varner. Fourth down, they're gonna go for it. Here's the give to Varner around the right side. Breaks one tackle. He will not get the first down as the Bears hold. It'll teamed up to make the stop to get the ball back for West Branch. They take over first and 10 at their own 29. Just a little over 10 minutes left in the ball game. Coleman drops back, gets plenty of time, looks over the middle, complete to Gates as he bobbles it just over midfield. That'll be good for a Bears first down. First and 10, ball just over the midfield stripe. Hamer in motion. Coleman drops back. Everybody out in a pattern looking deep for Seidel. He's got him complete. As the ball goes down to about the 13 yard line. Branch ball spotted at the 13 yard line. Coleman barks out the signals. Here's the pitch back to Gates. Comes into the short side of the field. We've got flags all over. This one will come back on a holding call on the Bears. Penalty actually was clipping, which was a 15 yard penalty. So it'll be first and 25 for West Branch. Coleman back to pass. Has Seidel just over the 20 down to the 15, about to the 13. Second down and 11 for West Branch. O'Neill single setback. Fakes the quick screen across the middle, wide open. Coleman completes it to Jay Schultz for the West Branch touchdown. Back Thomas on to try the extra point. Mike Coleman will do the holding. Snap good, kick is up. And it's no good, but we've got flags on the play. Could be a, well, we'll try it again after the roughing the kicker penalty. Half the distance to the goal. High snap, we've got the fake is on. Coleman rolls right, he's gonna waltz into the end zone for the two point conversion. That'll make the score West Branch 36, Northeast seven with 8.43 left in the ball game. To kick off. And here we go. And there's the boot. A fairly short kick taken by Derek Schroeder. He's up over the 40, down near the 45 yard line. About the 44 where it'll be first and 10 northeast. It's at their own 44 yard line. Here's the give to Kettleson once again. Teasdale and O'Neill on the stop. After the gain of three. Varner carries here, just up over the 50, down to the 45. That looks like it'll be good for a Northeast first down. And here we go, as Northeast barely picked up the first down, never a doubt here in the press box. Varner around the right side carries. He's met by a host of Bears, including O'Neill, who appears to be injured a little bit on the play. Five ball sits on the 41 yard line. Give to Varner once again around the right side. He's got some open running room and he's chased out of bounds at about the 24. First and 10 for the Rebels at the 34 yard line, not the 24 as my eyes are going out on me. Here's the give to Kettleson. Lots of running room around that right side. He'll get about six. And we're back underway here, second down and four. Ball is bobbled and fumbled and recovered by West Branch. Looks like we've got a new quarterback in there for West Branch. Number 16, Kurt Jeffries. Jeffries will keep it himself and he'll pick up some good yardage. Ball at the 37 yard line. Jeffries gives off to the single back. First down, first and 10 at the 40. Just about five and a half left here in the ball game. Jeffries with the pitch. 
to O'Neill. He's brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Looks like a loss of one on the play. Games going on in the district this evening. Bellevue is at Regina. Winfield Mount Union traveled to Midland, and Albernette plays at Wapolo. Second down and 10. Jeffries back to pass, a flag down. Looks like it'll be illegal motion. He completes the pass to Seidel, breaks a tackle down to the 40. But we had motion here on the near side. Second down and 15 after the five yard illegal procedure penalty. Jeffries drops back, looks downfield, he's pressured. Tried to get it out there to O'Neill and just throws it away. 15 from the 35, 424 left. Hamer, the man in motion, give to Howie Gates. He bobbles the handoff a little bit, gains a couple, bring up fourth down. The Bears will fourth and 13, O'Neill on to punt. High snap, brings it down, kick is away. He had pressure on him. Good high punt. Calls for the fair catch, doesn't make it, and the ball rolled dead at about the 23-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 northeast. First and 10 ball on the 23. Give up the middle. Kettleson once again. Well, made the stop after a gain of one. Quarterback back to pass, just drops the ball. It looks like the Bears have fallen on it. This will be a turnover. West Branch will get it at the 15-yard line. Northeast using a freshman quarterback after their starter was dinged up a little bit earlier in the ball game. Jeffrey still in at quarterback for West Branch. O'Neill single setback. Give his to O'Neill up the middle. He's carrying players down to about the five. Gain of eight on the play for O'Neill. Second down and two. O'Neill now joined the backfield by Gates. Here's Gates up the middle. Not a whole lot there, but it'll be enough for a first down. Goal for the Bears at the four yard line. And it'll be Jeffries on the quarterback sneak. Up the middle, he's in for the Bear touchdown. Now we'll try the extra point, Thomas, to kick. Coleman with the hold. Kick is up and it is wide right. So with 2.02 left, it's West Branch 42, Northeast 7. And here's the kick for West Branch. Taking it about the 20. He's up to the 40. 46 yard line where he stopped. Branch now playing a lot of the reserves here. We'll run up the middle. Varner instead, he'll pop it to the outside when there's nothing there. Sit on the stop there. Second down and nine. Here's the give around the right side. Derek Schroeder. He get about five and brought down by a host of Bears. Neal made the stop on that last play. Third and four at the 47. Here's the inside give to Varner, he'll get it for the first down up to about the 41 yard line. Timeout with 40 seconds left, it's first and 10 at the 40 yard line. Dropping back to pass, trying to wing it out to Varner, almost intercepted by O'Neill. Be second down and 10 with 35 seconds left. I got in 10 at the 40. Give us to Varner up the middle again, breaks two tackles. He's got enough for the first down, down to near the 25. Out, we've got 27 seconds left, first and 10 at the 26. Blitz up the middle, he's in serious trouble. Try and pick up the number of the person with the sack. I don't know about you folks, but if I had an hour and a half bus ride ahead of me, I wouldn't be wasting timeouts down 35 points. But anyway, they did, and here's the play. Run around the right side, it'll be third down. 10 seconds remaining. And 14 for Northeast after spiking the ball in the last play, and then they run it up the middle. Gotta wonder about that play calling. Anyway, 
Your final score, West Branch 42, Northeast 7. Another quality win for the Bears coming off a 60 to six win last week and now 42 to seven this week. They've got things rolling and they need to. Next week, the district leading Winfield Mount Union will play the Bears down in Winfield. So I encourage everyone to go down there if you can. The Bears need all your help. And Wayne Lang will be back next week. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed watching. Goodbye.